God. I just spotted a tire. It appears that we're in a really bad area. And it's really important that we fix that tire really quick. So my friend and I are going to demonstrate how to replace a pop tire. Yep, we are. So you gotta open the trunk. That's where you should keep all your materials, your tools. There's three main things that you're gonna need. And they should always be kept in your trunk in case of emergency. Uh, you need a jack, a jack stand. And the crowbar. Put it in the box. So once you've got all these things, you should head over to the tire that has the issue. Alright, so you gotta loosen the bolts, not all the way, just so it can make it easier when you have to lift it up to take off the tire. If you remember, right tidy, that's the new piece. If you take it off all the way, then the tire will, you know, fall before you lift it up. So that'll be an issue. Yeah. Then you're good. Jack. You want to put the jack in a nice solid place so it won't mess up anything. And usually an arrow right here show you where this one is. So if yeah. you put it in the wrong spot, it can crush um, places that are either made of plastic or like a really bendy type of metal. So you don't want to do that. Yeah, it can cost a lot of money to replace it. So you just. So to the right. So we're finishing up and it looks like the tire is about an inch off the floor, which I'll show you right now. Just make sure you don't have any body parts on your car while you're doing this. Yep. You don't want it's to at least hurt. an inch off the floor. Alright, now now they're just like lift up, you know, get the jack. Stand. Jack stand and just like put it under the car like a nice solid place just for you know you want to put it like around where the jack itself is but you of course you want to put it on the hard part as well so it doesn't crush anything it's just for extra support in case the car is to fall yeah now you're gonna take out the bolt Loose, yeah now see that they're loosens it's much easier to take it off oh. which is helpful to you also like when you take them off Make sure, you know, you take them off with your fingers. It'll be, like, much easier. Um, you might want to make sure you know where the bolts are themselves. Yeah. Um, so put them in a cluster together instead of under the car, like we just did. Because <laughs> you're going to have to get them to put them back, put the tire back on. Yeah. Now you're going to take off the tire. And, um... My friend over here is going to roll it to me, and I'm going to give him a new, fresh tire. There it is. All right, thank you. So now that you got the nice, fresh tire, which you know, should have been in the back of your car as well, for in case of emergencies. Yeah. So now that you got it. See, it's gonna have the four piece right here for the bolts. You're gonna also like right here. You have to match it up with those yeah, four. Yeah, you have to match it up. I'm just gonna lift it up. This tire is pretty heavy, so if you have anyone else in the car, it would be nice to have them help you. So you wanna hold the tire while you're putting the nuts on. So you know how it has two sides. This side is gonna go in. It's gonna go like this. Make sure when you tighten them you like use your fingers just for putting it in the beginning yeah and actually something that I learned is that you put them like across like this. from each yeah, other across from each other so it would the tire will be evened up you don't want to like put them side to side because then one side can be like like it'll, higher than the other. it'll yeah. look lopsided so you put them on and then yeah, they don't have to be like really tied up. They don't have to be like really tied right now. You just want to make sure they're on. And then you get the crowbar. And, and with the crowbar, them. you finish up the job. Make sure that the bolts are tight, but not too tight, because you don't want to strip the bolt, which would help it make it way easier. I mean, harder when you try to take it off the next time. Yeah, so.
side him up. Also want to do like a cross. I'll help you. So you want to do that until they're um, nice and in place. And I think we're good. Good. Yep, we're, right. we're good. So then once you've done that, we're going to come back under here and we're going to take the jack out as quickly as possible. So you gotta take the, the jack, jack stand, stand out, start it out, start it out. And then you're gonna lose this. The jack stand is designed to um, catch your car if it's falling, so if you're taking down the jack first, then it would just be an incident. So yeah, you're just going to lower the car. Loosen it up, you can use the same method as last time, moving the thing. Get We're just going to speed through this, but that is exactly what you do for the car. Thank you for watching, and hopefully it was informative.